Hey everyone, it's a beautiful early morning in New Hampshire. Take a look at this water going into this pipe. Seems a little bit undersized for this amount of water. It looks like whatever overflows can go into there. By evidence of erosion, it doesn't look like it's ever gone where it couldn't be handled by both of these. Well, today is early May and it's like 37 degrees out. Matter of fact, this morning I saw some snow up in the mountains. It's actually snowing in the mountains right now. If it was a little bit colder, it would be snowing down here. Pretty interesting. We're just driving around looking at some more flood waters. This is really awesome. Look at this coming out of the pipe. Look at all that aeration right there. That is really cool. A little bit further down this road, we came across a blockage here that we're going to remove. So you see the main road is right here, and this is the old main road back in the day. Back there where I was showing that first pipe with all the aeration and agitation, a couple houses are actually on that part of the old main road. And you see there's still an active power line here, but this really is not used for anything. I'm going to show you guys a giant flood. The water cannot be handled by the pipe, and it's just going right on over. But, it looks like we have a couple blockages right here. It looks like a blockage right there, underneath the actual main road. And right here, we have a blockage under the old main road. Look at this. Look at all this junk. So I think the best thing to do in this situation would be to go and unclog the pipe under the main road first. Drain that back before we send another gush through there. So let's go see what we got before we get the rake out. Let's see if this is going to be an easy one or a hard one. It looks like it'll be fairly easy. The only thing is the amount of leaves. Hopefully when we remove these couple sticks holding it back, we'll be able to simply just let all the leaves pass through underneath the road. Look at this big stick right here. Oh, look at that. That's already letting a little bit of water in there. This I think is actually part of the block is just big stick. Yeah, I wanna go see what it looks like on the other side of the road. And then I think we're gonna go ahead and grab camera number two. So this on the other side of the road is the Sacco River. Someone told me that this thing was majorly flooding a couple days ago. So by the evidence, I don't see any grass pushed over or anything, but actually part of the main road, they have cones set up. It eroded the edge of it. None of the pavement actually fell in, but it was very close. So here's the other end of the pipe. Yeah, we're going to go grab camera number two and leave it right here. Right next to the Sacco River. Beautiful view. Wow, that was actually holding it up. I'm glad I didn't rip it out of there before. Whoa, that's a bigger pipe than it looked like from before. Wow, there's so many things in there. It's already clogging by the stuff coming over. Look at all those leaves. Wow. This is actually so much fun. Look at it eat all those leaves. That must look awesome on the other side. I think we're going to have to unclog this one again, maybe of leaves when we get that one.
That water dropped fast. Fantastic. Look at that, self-dredging. That was really cool. Before we go and grab camera number two, just watch me grab that debris out of the pipe right there. There's so much slop right here on the river bank. Oh, this thing's gonna clog again. And we don't have the water pressure anymore. It's gotta come out of the ditch. All of it. All of it. Now this little bit here will most likely get sent through once we get the blockage over on the old main road. Look at it all flowing back into the pipe. That looks cool. You're about to see all this stuff on camera number two. Nice. Nice and wide open. Now, if water levels ever get high again, there's just so much debris here on the edge of the stream. It's so easy for a pipe to small the clog. You know, if this was like a three foot pipe or four foot pipe, Yes, it's technically oversized, but when you're up in the mountains like this, sometimes it needs to run. I can tell this, this has been backed up for a while. I think during the spring thaw, especially this year, you know, I always brag about how good the New Hampshire DOT is, but I think this year they're a little overwhelmed because of all the rain. Because I've been finding so many blockages, and you can tell this blockage... It's not neglect. Everything you see there, that is a brand new blockage. But I can tell this area floods often. The pipe is simply too small. It gets plugged all the time. Now we're gonna go grab camera number two across the road. Um, you know what? No, we're gonna leave camera number two across the road. And I'm just gonna bring you over here. And you guys can see how long it takes for all that debris to get all the way under both roads. Yeah, we've never done that before. Both roads at the same time. Let's get in here and start unblocking. There's gonna be another blast. Let's just prepare the entrance. This pipe looks like it's exactly the same size. Look at this, it just takes a couple sticks and all these leaves cake against it, making a solid blockage. Oh, that stick is so big, look at that. Yeah, this is gonna need help. I'm sure the other one's gonna clog again. It's starting to go through the pipe. All right. Go on, slop. Right on through. I wonder how long it'll take to start seeing anything happening all the way over there. It's over a hundred feet away. Go on, slap. Oh, 
Oh, this looks so cool now that we're getting it moving. This looks so cool. Get any sticks out of there that could potentially get clogged. Go on, keep going. Keep going. It's completely unclogged and everything is moving. There we go. Everything is on its way out and that big flood is draining back. You can tell by the evidence, this has gone up high enough. I think it was probably crossing the road. Now look at the other side. Look at this big slurry going through. Look at that. It's like an awesome mud flow. That is so cool. You guys are gonna see a giant blaster coming through over on the other side. Look at that flow of mud and leaves. That is awesome. And there's no sticks, so it might not get clogged. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Letting loose right on in the pipe. Wow, it didn't get clogged. Look at it, it just picked up so fast. All right, I'm gonna get down in there while you guys are watching. I'm gonna clean up a little bit that got stuck along the way. Everything that I'm cleaning up got stuck on a stick. Sticks are always the problem. The leaves can go through. We are all clear. Both pipes are completely open, completely free all the way through. Water is flowing good. Awesome. All right, we're gonna go pick up camera number two on the other side of the road. And we're gonna keep on going today looking for floods. When I say that the New Hampshire DOT is getting a little behind because they're just overwhelmed, well, the same goes for me. You know, in the past three weeks, I have probably made over 50 videos, and that's extremely unusual. It's going to take me forever to edit those together, but the good thing is I am going to be making a lot of cool videos during the dry months when I have the time to start putting them things together. Look at that. Everything came through. There it is. Went right into the river and it is out of there. Wow. Yeah, there's been so much flooding in northern New England. I was just down in Mass, back to Maine, Mass, a couple times in the same week. And there's just blockages in every single state. They're building up like crazy. It's fantastic how many blockages there are. You can actually see a good water line over there. You see right here? The river was probably three feet higher here during maximum flood stage. You see there's a little bit of debris stuck there, but it did not go beyond this point. Did not flood up in here this time. Amazing. You know, this is usually a pretty busy road every other time I've been up in this area. And you're probably wondering why it's not busy today. There's barely any traffic on the main road. That is because it's 6.30 in the morning. Morning commute has not even started. I started on my journey today at 4 a.m. And we just came across a lot of cool stuff. Take a look at this. 
road is completely flooded here. And is there a culvert? If there is, it's unrecognizable. We're still gonna get out and try to look for it. Let's just pull over for a second right here. I'm actually still waking up a little bit because I, I just got up like at four o'clock. Last night I got about six hours of sleep but my body's still running a little bit slow. Yeah, because of all this flooding, I've been doing like 16 plus hour days the past five days just storm chasing like crazy. Yeah, so it looks like there probably is a culvert under here, but look at the sand. It's completely buried wherever it might be. It says state property, no trespassing. So this is like, looks like the DOT's gravel pit where they get fill for the road. It looks like they've been chopping down part of the mountain. I see a bunch of rocks and gravel they're getting out of there. See, the water's pretty deep here, but the road is very stable. And this is not an active road, so that's probably why. Maybe right here right before their gate this may be where a pipe begins potentially but it's just so buried and so neglected and they don't care this is a gravel pit these roads are built so well probably compacted so well from hundreds of trucks dump trucks going in and out of there and they're so heavy but what I'm more interested in is where's this water going is there a culvert underneath the actual main road that's what I'm going to see right now. Because there is a build up here and it's not going down to the pipe we just unclogged. So where is it going? That's what we're here to see. Can we even see where it's going? Or is it just possibly sinking in the ground? This area looks severely neglected. Oh, maybe not. See the water trickling around this cool tree with all its roots exposed. We're walking through here and now it's going down a ditch and there's probably a big pipe down here, which is kind of dumb. You see how it's backed up, backed up all across the road. They got to dig this whole area out, dig a deep channel through this so we can actually get down to this pipe. Let's see. The ditch down here is actually quite flooded. We're gonna find the pipe and figure this out. So right here, this is where the old main road connects again. There's definitely some sort of pipe here. This is where all the water's going. See the ditch obviously has some problems. What's going on right here? Woodpecker or beaver? This thing's pretty rotten so probably yeah, that's a woodpecker. This thing is so rotten, a beaver wouldn't want this. Look at it, I could push this thing over if I wanted. So, this pipe is not gonna be clogged. This whole gully would be filling up. You can see they brought trimming equipment in here in the past year. This pipe is a little bit bigger than the ones we unclogged. Oh, it does have a blockage. A slight one, we don't even have to go back for the rake just a couple of sticks that leaves could easily jam against and cause a bigger blockage. Oh, just sent it through. And this, this is actually still alive. All clear. At first I thought maybe it was backing up because the river is so deep. Now here's the pipe under the old road. Anything blocking it over on this side? Yeah, looks like it. We got a whirlpool right there. Look at that. There we go. Look at that. Open that pipe back up. Sending lots of leaves down there. Wow, that's a very thick pipe. It is corrugated, it's not cast iron, but it's old and it's very thick. Now oh, we got that thing open, nice. 
Look at all the sediment that's built up over the years because they're not maintaining this despite having a DOT yard right there. And we're running out of flow to help us dredge. There we go. More coming through. Feeling the bottom. Any more sticks? Couple. We got a couple. And I think we're clear now. This mud's becoming sticky. Wow, that's so deep. They really got to dredge this with an excavator. What I did right there is only going to last for so long. There's so much stuff upstream that's just going to end up coming on down here. But we did get it completely open. But this right here, that is not stable at all. That's like, you sink so deep into that. Let's see what we did across. All right, right here, look at this. Here comes all those leaves. Just built up by this debris right here. Oh, we just ripped the whole tree out of the ground. Look at that. All clear, 100%. Now here comes all that mud flow. Go about to go across the road into the river. Doesn't look like anything's blocking it. We just sent a lot more water in. And I think we're good. That was a very productive past 20 minutes here. And I almost didn't stop at the area because it didn't look like much from the road, but I'm glad I turned around. I hope today's video was interesting, everybody. Thanks for watching and have a great day. We're gonna get back on the road and see what else cool stuff we can find today.